Okay, today I'm going to show you the insides of this Model S light. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the entire light. Uh, if you can see here, this one's got a giant hole, uh, another hole here, broken mount, there's a big crack in it, so this light isn't worth salvaging at this point. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and disassemble it for parts. So I'll go ahead and show you what this all looks like. Uh, under normal circumstances, if you were going to disassemble this and put it back together, you would heat, heat up the glue and pull the lens off so that it could be easily put back together. But in my case, this is scrap, so I'm just going to use this electric body saw here and cut off the light. So this should take two to five minutes to go around the light and cut it all off. And I'll take care of that and be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut this off and the lens is ready to come off. Uh, but the one thing that I want to know before the lens and all of this can come off, there is a 7 millimeter bolt here that goes right here in the back, right under the adjuster. This has to come off because this actually helps hold the, the front bezel in place. So w with this removed now, we can go ahead and slide the whole front off here and we we'll have access to the internals. So let me get you a close up here of all of this. So now we can see here, you can see all of the LED lights here that run up and down and make up our detimering light. And then down here we can see, this is the yellow, the, the turn signal. And in here we just have a fully exposed circuit board that controls the daytime running lights and the other electronics of the light. Here is our bi-xenon projector. And really, I don't think there's much else to show you here. Uh, so this is the, the up and down headlight adjuster and again here is that hole where that 7 millimeter bolt came out of. So I'm going to go ahead and finish disassembling this light. And to do this we're just going to be using a 7 millimeter wrench. So start here on the bottom and pop off the three bolts holding on the ballast. Ready? There we go. Okay. Now the bolts holding the ballast are off. Once you get the ballast off, there's going to be two plastic clips here. And just take a flathead screwdriver and pop it off. And that should, there we go. And just use that for leverage and there's the ballast off. Put the light back over, and then there's some various um, seven millimeter bolts throughout here that hold on the LED strip. So that was five, I believe. Five or six bolts holding on the daytime running lights. And then there's going to be two more here. I'll show you real quick with those out of the way. Okay. 
Okay, so now there's going to be just you know, two more holding on this amber light. And then we have full access to the xenon projector, which is going to be hold, held in here by four T20 torque screws. Two more seven millimeter bolts holding on our little circuit board. Usually this will pop right out, but today it's there we go, giving me a little bit of grief. Alright, so then give you one last shot of the internals here. Okay. So there's the exposed circuit board that is going to operate the daytime running light. Um, because of this, I don't know that I would necessarily recommend baking one of these in the oven to take the lens off. Um, there's potential that the the circuits in here uh, could get overheated and you could damage the, the the circuits and you may have to end up reflowing the board or and or replacing it um, if it gets too far out of whack. But you can see here that there is quite a bit of buildup on the board itself and I'm curious you know how long these things are actually gonna last on production vehicles so hopefully that comes there we go and that is very common on every one that I've opened that there's been some sort of buildup on the circuit board due to to moisture. All right, so one last go around the internals. All right, well, hope you find this helpful. Thank you.